what's the king's name? Mufasa, yeah, and he's a very regal looking person, uh, lion, and he stands up straight and tall, and that means that he's high in serotonin because serotonin governs postural flexion, and if so, if you're dominant and near the top of hierarchies, you tend to expand so that you look bigger than, than you could if you shrunk down, and so if you're a low dominant person, you wander around like this so that you look small and weak, and you don't pose a threat to anybody, but if you're at the top, you expand yourself so that you can command the space, and that's why he has that particular kind of regal posture. And if you look at his facial expression, you see that it's quite severe. It, like, he's, he's capable of kindness, but he's also harsh and judgmental, and that's what society is like. That's what the superego is like, and what that means is that he's integrated his aggression. And I've seen this happen in my clinical clients when they come in and they're too agreeable. They look like Simba looks later in the movie when he's an adolescent, and He's sort of like a deer in the headlights. Everything is coming in and nothing is coming out. But when the person integrates their shadow and gets the aggressive part of themselves integrated into their personality, their faces harden. And if you look at people, you can tell because the people who are too agreeable look childlike and innocent and the people who, well, a hyper aggressive person will look, you know, mean and cruel. But uh, let's see if that's good.